So what we said so far was, was that if you take an oil droplet that has an Fg that exceeds the electrostatic force upwards, if you fire that thing horizontally, that oil droplet horizontally with a velocity, then it's going to follow a parabolic path. But the parabolic path may differ from the parabolic path that we've talked about previously because the net force won't be, or the net acceleration sort of, sorry, vertically, won't be equal to acceleration due to gravity. It'll be some other acceleration in the y direction. It says Fe, electrostatic force. Wait, what was that little like, circle in the very middle? Oh, that's something I haven't dealt with yet. Okay. That's another particle. <laughs> what would be true about this thing? What would be true about this thing? If it had an F E oh, it would be what? <laughs> it's got an electrostatic force that's upward. It would be like and it's got an F G this way. All we're saying is that for this one here, it's probably gonna have a path that looks like this. Nice parabola, but maybe a little broader than usual. For this one here, what would it look like? Its path that is. Matthew? Yeah, it would sort of go upwards. So if it had a net force that was upwards, it would have a, an upside down parabolic motion. Now, is that any different shape than the first one? No, it's just really cool. Really? It's just an upside down parabola. And what Matthew says is that if these guys were fired out of a plate, and here's, I'll draw the plate again, then the first one, I'll do that in green again, same as I did the first time, would have a downward parabola, but as soon as it left the plates, it wouldn't have the electrostatic force anymore, so it would have some, steeper. what's that? Yeah, maybe it would get steeper. The other one. Like I said, the red one. Zooms off like that, right? Why would it? Well, it just continues on. OK. But that's, yeah, that starts getting affected by gravity. Yeah, you're right. The gravity would take over and it would do some other funny thing. Now, that's for oil droplets. And it's good for oil droplets, but let's consider something a little bit more microscopic, something subatomic. Consider just electrons. Individual electrons fired between charged plates. Now, an electron is so small, and we talked about the relative strength of uh, gravitational force versus electrostatic force at some previous point in the course. Which one's greater, gravitational force or electrostatic force? Electrostatic. Uh, over small distances, electrostatic force is, is big time boss, okay? So if we talk about firing an electron between two charged plates, if I draw a free body diagram here and I talk about the electrostatic force, since the since the gravitational force is so much smaller than the electrostatic force, oftentimes people will just say, all right, well, Fg is tiny, tiny compared to Fe, so we're going to not consider Fg anymore for these really small objects like electrons. So disregard Fg for electrons. Oh, four, four electrons just because the fg is going to be so so small because of its diminutive mass yeah um, when you have two of the little alligator mass does that just mean like extra small much much smaller okay really that's what it means i didn't just make it up what are they called again I, I mean, greater than less than, than symbols okay. inequality symbols <laughs> i call them alligator mouths Al alligator mouths okay <laughs> oh, <is that> an <laughs> it eats the bigger yeah, bigger. yeah the big yeah, the bigger one ones. Yeah. Mm. I just don't. I've seen in the I'll green and the like less than. Thing. It's just a less than side. Okay. Alrighty. Anyway, so if this thing has an initial velocity and it's a char a negative charge, is it going to get accelerated upwards or downwards? What's that, Jimmy? Upwards. So if I want to follow its parabolic path then it would be a parabola up to that point. But as soon as it exits the, the gap, what's it going to do? It's going to continue off. Yeah, continue off in a straight line. And actually, that's I was getting ahead of myself over here, drawing these straight lines. I know when we were talking about massive objects, it should be parabolic somehow. But over here, with this not-so-massive object, 
or gravity doesn't really make that much of an impact, it goes off at a, basically a linear path after it leaves the gap. All right, so we've got to do a little bit of derivation. Okay. 